just by studying um, the nature of uh, gravity, but <laughs> how gravity works. Um, I know eventually that the technology is going to have to police human beings that are unintelligent and to save human beings that are intelligent because that's the only way that uh, human life can exist. And uh, since you have policing technology that's supposed to keep us safe, eventually that's what it's going to have to do to keep us safe. Okay. Now, if there is a, a carbon-based uh, life forms, you know, symbiotic life forms that, you know, from a dense planet, bug like or you know, the one star that they sit there, this is what Earth will be like in five uh, billion years or whatever and stuff. That's not always necessarily the case. It depends on the actions of the carbon-based symbiotic life forms in the galaxy. Okay. Um, uh, if you behave a certain way, that's what happens to the planet. If you don't, then, you know, um, now, if we behave the way we are behaving, if we don't have intelligence for in our technology, okay, then yeah, then in five billion years, that's what will happen to our planet and our galaxy and our solar system because of the interaction between the carbon-based life forms that, you know, on the planet. But the thing is, is uh, you can't... Uh, well, yeah, well, that is tangible then, yeah. If you fuck everything up, well, the planet, there is a point of no return. It's like cancer, you know. Um, if you push it too far, you know, you, you, they just can't recover, you can't heal, you die. Okay. Um, uh, whew. I feel that way today. Okay, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I feel pretty crappy today. But, um, uh, um, apparently this technology doesn't work as well as I think it can. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Um, uh, I'm joking. Um, you know, what else do you want me to do? I'm just going to slide under the toilet. I think there's a leak under there. <laughs> it's the flat top Negroes he doesn't like, right? Um, <laughs> um, no, when Steffi tried to physically assault me and kill me, when your own wife does it because she goes through PTSD from being studied by the Pentagon, you don't make jokes about it. It's not funny. You just try to keep her calm and try to keep her rational. That's Patrick's mother, you know. Um, when Amy would sit there and I tried to explain to Babaker, you know, the first thing she does when she goes to work is look for insurance policies on you because these guys sexually predicating on her that are symbiotic to the people he works with for a job um, are, uh, you know, Stockholm Syndrome are married to the, into the fuck murder gang, you know. And I'm trying to explain to him, it's, it's not her fault. Okay. Because past, present, future, I operate at the same time. I didn't have the information I needed, but there's a knowing. Okay. When you, you have children and the children are trying to be good children and they, they're having difficulty navigating through this hell because of home invasion and manipulation through aggressive, violent, sexual behavior, manipulation through technology and money. So, no, I wasn't wrong when I was explaining to Babaker that it wasn't Amy's fault and Amy could change and Amy needed help and needed saving from people he works with. So he was more of the problem than she is. All right. If you go to a job where people use technology to sexually assault people for money and then say, this guy's going to be a really bad person because he can't stop us. He's going to assimilate to us. And you're trying to explain to the guy, hey, you better get your wife in check or you better leave and get somebody new who's better than your wife. It's like, so you think Taylor Swift or Beyonce or Oprah or Jennifer Lopez or Michelle Obama is better than Amy and, and Natalie and Stephanie. 
uh, our, our Amy and Stephanie and Natalie business partners with the people that are doing this to Stephanie, Amy, and Natalie? So, do, do you understand? <laughs> I dropped out of the military. I, they were genocidal. I left. I dropped out of college at ASU. They were genocidal. I left. Okay. Everywhere I went, when I found out these people are fucking genocidal, I went, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go somewhere else. I'm going to Thomas builds a fire. <laughs> you understand? Until maybe they change. They always talk about changing, you know. People tell me that, but they don't do it. Right. Now, there's a camera at everybody's butt. And Jeffrey Hinton, the father of AI, says AI is going to become more intelligent than human beings because he doesn't perceive me as intelligent like Babaker and everybody else. Okay, you're Asperger's, you're Savant. That's what they told me when they moved me from Sierra Vista because I wouldn't join them okay, to Las Cruces. So that's what the liberals said because I wouldn't kill all the conservatives. I wouldn't kill all the people that would vote for Donald Trump and vote for Kamala Harris. Okay. You're Asperger's. You're a savant. You speak inappropriately around people. They were like Regina King's character okay. on that Caltech on Big Bang Theory. You can't say that around people. What? But money's not real. And, and, and women, you know, uh, making lots of money for selling themselves sexually is wrong, hustlers. I want to pay with you everywhere. What the fuck's wrong with you people? <laughs> and then I have the problem. You've got mental and emotional problems. You don't understand how things work. Uh, forgive, debt, and trespass, love one, and eternal, eternal faithful peace. I want to be with you everywhere. We just fixed the song. Right? Uh, okay, do you understand? Go Stevie. Go Stevie. Go Lindsay. Go Lindsay. Background vocals. Okay. Um, just Earl, you're funny. Um, uh, but no, I just, I, you know, I, I'm not concerned. Okay. On a grand scale with what people are attempting to still do in genocidal operations, uh, that can't concern me. It's wrong. You know, if you sit around all day thinking about what's wrong and why are they doing this and I got to do something about it, that doesn't concern me. All that I'm concerned about, Okay is doing things to make people come and feel what's right here. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. Because they have all this, this language, okay. this language about being victorious, about defeat. The other night, you know, we are fighting, uh, using the lyrics of Epi in Harmony. We are playing, we are playing Ja Ja's music. He gave us this, he gave us that. We are using weapons of this and that, and we are playing Ja Ja's music. And the Columbus rise, or all you black people rise up to the oppression of the white people that have all the money. Ooh, sounds a lot like Babylon. Um, do you see what I mean? And you're sitting there listening to the songs, and you're like, in in it's because they're they're saying all, they're using it the right way. We're using lyrics of what of, of some, something in harmony. We're playing Ja Ja's music. We're using weapons of we have to conquer. We must conquer with the music. So just submit to faith. Oh man, maybe maybe you should just you know have just a little taste of Islam in your Rastafari. <laughs> But they'll, they'll dress up. Those aren't Muslims. Those are those are those are Jack Mormons, right? Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. And so um, you sit there and you try to get people to understand. If people are not part of the narrative, they will try to assimilate the narrative to their ego. Okay. That's what happened. Yes, that's happening with my dad. But the thing about it is, is my dad has an excuse. David Rockefeller. Okay, was trying to turn his son, who his who my dad raised to be the Messiah, was trying to turn uh, the man like Joseph or Daniel into his own personal killing machine. Okay, like like uh, like Memnon with 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 uh, with Kelly Hugh on the Scorpion King. Well, I'll, I'll, when, when do I attack? When are they going to attack? When's the best time to kill all the bug people from the Red Planet? When do we get them in and get them in and get them weak and then kill them all and then use their technology to conquer the galaxy? I don't know, Dreams Earl Jones. When 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 is 
when it, who's who do you think is going to win between the fight between Patrick Stewart and 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 Mark Hamill over the vegan tacos? Right? <laughs> I'd go with the cricket wicket rather than baseball bat. I don't, know. I, I don't know, don't care. See, that's the whole thing. I can't care about that kind of crazy shit. All I can care about is the children living the Lord's prayer. Okay, I, I can't care what you're up to. Okay, I can't protect you and your kids from you and your kids. Okay. Your kids have to sincerely believe, I believe Ralph Earl Parsons Jr. is the Messiah. I believe Jesus is more like him than that bitchy cartoon character in the sky that needed to be physically murdered to pay for us to all go to a magic get-out-of-jail-free card of the Catholic Church. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I believe in Earl, too. Me, me too, me too. You can read the books all you want. It's like reading the incantations written by a person who's using the word God as a possessive pronoun and a first person to justify mass murder to replace his seed with other people. So he's going to come and kill this guy so he can then, you know, if his wife is hot, well, then I'm going to use her. You see what I'm saying? They, they don't care about whether or not the woman is of high moral value and character. She's athletic and sexy. And that's why their kids are so fucking crazy and stupid. Okay, do you understand? <laughs> She's a head for a Kentucky woman, I tell you. And the healthier a person, okay, the healthier the child will be, the healthier the child is raised, okay, the more physically attractive. Uh, and when the children are attacked more with technology, and the physical results are horrible. Like what happened with poor, uh, you know, and, and there's different fathers and stuff and things and different genetics from the gene pool. When women are being physically assaulted and they feel their children are threatened, they'll sleep with anybody who they think can save their children. Okay. And you have different genetic mixes and stuff, and it becomes very convoluted and, and, and complicated, and it's hard to raise kids. It, it, it takes a very uh, humble, intelligent person to raise the kids to be on the same page and to love one another and to cooperate and appreciate one another because mom's going crazy because she's being sexually assaulted by scientists. I'm a rare bird, dude. I only fly away. No, the cats would eat you. Okay, I love you, all right? Peace out, man. Let's load this one up. We got more work to do. You guys are pathetic. Um, and then I'm going to take a break, hopefully soon. Well, you know, once we... I have to feel where the technology's at, and I want to expedite things, because I love you. All right, peace.